Kaden Lupana Zopper Studios. This is the voice of Pittsburgh. News from KDKA Radio. Now. They are ruling by a federal judge in Texas threatened the lives of millions to rely on the Affordable Care Act. That judge ruled core provisions of it unconstitutional, siding with the president, who tweeted, Great news for America. KRLD Radio's Stephen Pickering from the Lone Star State. The Attorney General of Texas is applauding the ruling. Spokesman Mark Rylander says it's what they were hoping for. Today's ruling halts an unconstitutional exertion of federal power over the American health care system. He says the Texas Attorney General's goal was to effectively repeal the Affordable Care Act. The group of states arguing in support Court of the ACA was led by California, and that state's attorney general says the ruling is an assault on the millions of Americans with pre-existing conditions, and those states will continue to fight in court. Stephen Pickering for CBS News, Dallas. President Trump announced on Twitter that he's appointing Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney as his acting chief of staff. CBS News correspondent Stephen Portnoy reports. White House aides are stressing that Mulvaney is a really good pick for this role as someone who has served up on Capitol Hill. Hill is a Republican in the House. He has relationships with members of the House and Senate. He has served for the last two years as the head of the Office of Management and Budget, which means that he has a window into the operations of the entire federal government. For a time, he was also heading the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, as well as OMB. So White House aides say that they're very happy with this pick, and they say the president is as well, of course. General John Kelly steps down from that role at the end of the year. Weak economic numbers from China have investors Worrying about a global problem. Stocks fell ending the week. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Most traders are just unwilling to go home long the market right now. So the path of least resistance is to sell, regroup next week, see what happens. Outgoing Wisconsin Republican Governor Scott Walker signed into law a series of Republican-written bills that critics say weakens the powers of the incoming Democratic governor and attorney general and restricts things like early voting. But Walker says... There's a lot of hype and hysteria, particularly in the national media, somehow implying that this is a power shift. It's not. Democratic governor-elect Tony Evers says it is dirty politics. The fact of the matter is none of this would have happened that uh, this legislation would have happened if Governor Walker would have uh, been elected instead of me. Walker signed the bill just 24 days before he leaves office. The Incredible Hulk actor Lou Ferrigno was hospitalized after a pneumonia vaccination. He tweeted... The shot left fluid in his bicep. This is CBS News. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. ZipRecruiter's technology finds qualified candidates for businesses of all sizes. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Ever wonder why Europeans seem to speak so many languages? Maybe it's because they use Babbel, the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Babbel's award-winning technology gets you speaking right away, whether you're learning Spanish, French, or German. And best of all, you'll remember what you've learned. I always thought I was bad at languages, but after using Babbel, I can tell you I was just taught the wrong way. Using Babbel's 10 to 15 minute lessons, you can be speaking confidently in your new language within weeks. I was amazed that I could start having real-life conversations right away. It was so fast. And now I'm speaking Spanish. Woohoo! <laughs> no wonder Babbel is the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Try it for yourself and see why Babbel is the quick way to get conversational in a new language, like Spanish, French, or more. You can try Babbel for free. Go to Babbel.com or download the app and try it for free. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, or download the app to try it for free. That's Babbel.com. CBS's Stephen Kaufman says might want to think about store return policies before even buying something. This gift-giving season, a retailer's return policy can make or break the holiday mood. If you're shopping for a gift for someone, it can be really beneficial to know beforehand just how easy it is to make a return. Miguel Huffington with Consumer Reports magazine says a few 
Producers involving merchandise returns have some stores tightening their policies, so be prepared. As a result, they'll even ask for like driver's license or a governmental ID. Also know who you're buying from, as third-party sellers may have different return policies. Stephen Kaufman, CBS News. Salt Lake City got the green light to bid for the Winter Olympics, most likely for 2030, in an attempt to bring the Games back to the city that hosted in 2002. The U.S. Olympic Committee said Friday it was selecting Utah's capital, which stood out as a predictable pick in a process that also included Denver and Reno, Nevada. Matt Piper, CBS News. Now, here's the latest from the KDKA Community Message Board. Rivers Bagels, making events taste great since 1983. This season, let Rivers help cater your next event. They provide fresh and delicious meal options for any occasion. Check them out online at Rivers.com to learn more. Since 1952, Light of Life Rescue Mission has been serving Pittsburgh's hurting and homeless, sharing the message of hope for all who've come for help. Your compassion and kindness allows Light of Life to restore hope in hurting men and women. Please visit lightoflife.org and share a special holiday gift of hope. Join KDKA Radio at Coons Market on McKnight Road for the Seven Fishes Show on Christmas Eve. The live broadcast with Rob Ratt starts at 9 a.m. and concludes at 1 p.m. Stop by to celebrate the season with great food and friends. Keep listening for updates from News Radio 1020 KDKA. Now, here's the up to the minute AccuWeather forecast brought to you by Ireland Contracting. Call 1 800 New Roof or visit IrelandContracting.com. Mostly cloudy overnight with some rain and drizzle. All of the areas of fog below 41. Saturday periods of rain, highs 48, more rain Saturday night and Sunday. So Saturday night, 39, some days high 44. We're active with her. I'm going to around with is the CBS News Weekend Roundup. Longtime defender of President Trump, Michael Cohen, sentenced to prison. Cohen was sentenced to serve three years in federal prison for lying to Congress, tax evasion, and campaign finance violations. Plus, tipsters lead French police to a man accused of a gun rampage. More than 800 calls were made to the police call line. And now, from the Capital One Bank Studios in the CBS News Washington Bureau, here's correspondent Steve Dorsey. Let's start this weekend with the president's former long...